you're going to be taking a 6G combination TIG and stick pipe test, there's going to be a harder side. And that's because most of us are right-handed and some of us are left-handed, right? So if you are right-handed, this side on this side on your right-hand side will be kind of a little bit more difficult than on your left-hand side. And the reason for that is this. When you're going on your left-hand side, you get to have your right hand on the bottom side, right? And you can come up and you can see pretty clearly. But on the left-hand side, it's a little bit different because if, you don't, if you're not left-handed, it'll be awkward. Your hands are opposite to each other. So you gotta cross them. Now, these are some of the ways that I see guys doing. I'll tell you which, which is the one that I use. So there are some guys that are very talented and very gifted and they can weld with both hands. Some guys will actually weld this side with the right hand and when they have to go to the, this side, they'll get their left hand and they'll continue going that, that way. They, they don't struggle. Me personally, I can't use my left hand for nothing. Other guys, what they'll do is they'll go ahead and start, but they'll look in through the bevel. They'll, you'll be able to see through it. They'll get the wire and you know they'll back feed it and they'll look through inside of that bevel and then go up. Now, there are some instances where you will be forced to do that, especially on tight spots whenever you're on the rack or you're in a location. So I'm not very good at that either. I always try to do it as much as I can, but there will be times where something tight, you're gonna have to do that. Even so, when sometimes maybe, you know, a buddy is going to be feeding the water and you're gonna be bur burning or vice versa, but that's another story. Now. The other method is the one that I use. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's not that bad. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna get your wire inside and all you're gonna do is you're gonna be welding like this. It might be a little uncomfortable at first, especially when you're first starting out because like I said, your hands are crossed, but it's just a matter of adjusting. If you don't work for a long time and then you make a test, you'll probably be sore from your backside. But again, this is what I use, and I always start on my tougher side, which is this side right here. I'll go up to the halfway point, then I'll come back this way, I'll go all the way up, and then I'll go and finish here, and then I'll tie in on the easier side. I hope that helps you. We'll go ahead and put the beat in on the next video. Let me know what you think. What's the method that you use? What works for you? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for watching.